कॉन्फ्रेंस जो शुरू हो रही है तो इसमें ये लेडीज़ भी हमारी वो इन्होंने कम काम कर रही हैं यहाँ पे और इसके बाद ये रिसेप्शन में लोगों को देख रही हैं इसके बाद और यहाँ पे ये इन्होंने कम्प्लेट रखे हुए हैं नेम इनके रखे हुए हैं जो भी शिरकत करेंगे यहाँ पे और इसके बाद ये लेडीज़ काम रहा है यहाँ पे काम कर रहे हैं रिसेप्शन में ये कुछ ये बैठी हुई हैं यहाँ पे ये रिसेप्शन पे ये ये जो है यहाँ पे हेल्प कर रही हैं यहाँ पे जो है लोगों को बताने के लिए और इसके बाद ये एरिया ये पार्लियामेंट का एरिया और यहाँ पे इसके अंदर है यहाँ पे और ये भी यहाँ इजाज़त है ना आपकी इजाज़त है आपकी तो ये भी यहाँ पे अंदर है ये हेल्प कर रही हैं लोगों की उनको बता रही हैं इसके बाद ऊपर ये इसका पार्लियामेंट का हिस्सा और इसमें इसके बाद जो है मैं कोशिश करता हूँ ऊपर का बताता हूँ आपको ये डेलिश पार्लियामेंट के अंदर प्रोग्राम हो रहा है यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हैं कि ये इसके शुरुआत यहाँ पे मौजूद हैं और गेस्ट अभी आ रहे हैं काफ़ी और जैसे कि लोगों वहाँ पे लगा हुआ है तहरीक कश्मीर डेनमार्क और ये डेनिश पार्लियामेंट के अंदर है तो ये डेनिश पार्लियामेंट का अंदरूनी हिस्सा है और यहाँ पे इस कश्मीर कॉन्फ्रेंस जो हो रही है और ये फ्लैग्स हैं पाकिस्तान डेनिश का फ्लैग है और उसके बाद ये कश्मीर का जो फ्लैग बना हुआ है बना हुआ है इसके बाद मुख्तु यहाँ पे जो लोग हैं यहाँ बैठे आ रहे हैं सारे ये कश्मीर सोलिडेटी कॉन्फ्रेंस लिखा हुआ है और डेरिश पार्लियामेंट के अंदर ये इसके यहाँ पे स्लाइड हैं और ये यहाँ पे इसका स्टेज बनाया हुआ है और कुछ देर के बाद ये शुरू होगा ये हमारे आगा जो है अफसर जोड़े बखेर आगा अब्बास रिजवी साहब बैठे हुए इन्होंने ही इंतज़ाम किया अब्बास रिजवी साहब ने और ये यहाँ पे ये कॉन्फ्रेंस है और इसमें ये सारे इसके पास में बैठे हुए गुरदासपुर हमारे पास नहीं दिया जाता और जो मेजोरिटी का प्रिंसिपल था उसको अपनाया जाता तो शायद कश्मीर हमारे पास कभी आता ही गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज कन्विंस्ड दैट दे कैन गेट अवे विद एवरीथिंग व्हाट वर शी इज डूइंग इन कश्मीर ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट have subsequently published two reports on conditions in Kashmir. I'm going to speak about hurdles in finding a solution to Jammu and Kashmir. Um, Mr. Ambassador, Mr. President of Tirith Kashmir Denmark, honorable speakers and dear guests. Marking Kashmir solidarity day today right here in the Danish parliament. We show that we in Denmark stand together with people all over the world. to support the Kashmiri people rightful struggle for self determination it is important to make such demonstrations of political diplomatic and moral support to show the people of Jammu and Kashmir that they are forgotten to remind the world of the suffering going on under the continuing and ever worsening indian occupation and to keep the pressure on the indian government to be here and recognizing a lot of faces which I have met before. 
I want to know many of you, if not all, have relatives in Kashmir. We turned into an open prison with 800,000 Indian troops watching, watching the depopulation every day. And such silence on Kashmir was deafening, which was based on double standards. When I read this, I ask myself, are we here in Denmark too quiet, too passive? Do we do enough? I'm not sure. I am learning so much today. Uh, I must admit that I knew next to nothing about Kashmir because we never hear about it in the news. Salam alaikum. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so proud and honored to be invited to speak in front of you today. And as I said, I'm learning so much. I'm just a local councillor, politician, a candidate. I have no one to write my speeches. So my words today are coming from the heart. They're coming from me, a mother of three children. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming here today and showing your support to the people of Kashmir and the terrible situation that they're in. Also, a big thank you to the organizers that are behind this event and are raising this conference here in the heart of the democracy, the Danish parliament. It's a very important statement. Thank you. Let me make this clear. Kashmir is a graveyard for human rights. And thank you for raising this very important agenda. Now, I must say that I was touched by seeing this video by hearing the stories and the presentations. And they also made me sad. Now I'm raised in Denmark. And Denmark is a safe place. So even if I cannot imagine how it is to be born and raised in a region where murder, torture, violence is part of daily life, I cannot imagine that. I can't say this, that it is unacceptable. It should not be tolerated, and it has to stop. First of all, I have to apologize. I'm not hit by corona, but I'm hit by a kind of uh, flu. So my voice is a little bit rusty, but I'll still try to make my speech as understandable as possible. But in case some people have told me I'm very good at murmuring, you know, so if I start murmuring, please let me know, okay? Thank you very much. First of all, I would uh, like to extend my thanks and gratitude to Kashmir, Tariqa Kashmir, who has always been very, very active when it comes to the human rights of Kashmir. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum, good afternoon. First of all, I would like to thank all of you for being here today. And thank you, Tariqa Kashmir, Denmark, for awaiting this important conference, which brings important global attention to the outrageous conditions which Kashmir is exposed to. Plenty of international organizations has already documented the horrific and violent crimes in Kashmir. Prime Minister Modi has shown throughout his entire political career that he is nothing, that he is nothing but a fascist acting out crimes against Muslims. Yes. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good afternoon and assalamu alaikum to everybody. Uh, the challenge of being the last speaker is that almost everything that you uh, like to talk about uh, has already been spoken by others. Uh, but I would still uh, you know, go ahead with my, uh, what I have prepared as my speech. 
So, first of all, I would like uh, to thank the uh, Hege Kashmir, Denmark, and the uh, President Adi Dasi uh, for organizing this event. The uh, Hege Kashmir, Denmark has been at the forefront of uh, highlighting the Kashmir uh, cause in Denmark, the human rights violations which are being committed against them uh, by uh, the Indian occupation forces. Um, and so we appreciate really uh, the work uh, that they are doing and I'm sure the Kashmiris also appreciate. 